So here we go. Everybody, it's Saturday morning, about noonish or so. I see about one o'clock. Uh, my project for the day is it's kind of nasty out. It's cold, and miserable, and snowing. I see a few flakes flying here. The ground was covered this morning. So this morning, I'm trying to, or today, I'm going to try to do a few things I've been wanting to do for a while. Past videos, you've seen I got a collection of ladders. I got some big step ladders and some fiberglass ladders. I was using a couple of trees down with the other day. The problem I have is, is my yellow extension ladder is 32 foot. So it's a 32 foot extension ladder. It's 16 feet long. So anywhere to put in the garage, I'm going to have to have a walk over, trip over it, or hang over it, duck underneath of it. So... I'm going to put it on the outside of the garage. When we moved in here, there was a, apparently had, had ladders hanging on here originally. So I'm gonna show you what I've done. I got the ladder hanging up there so far so you can see what I've done. The brackets are already on the building, so I just had to put the ladder on. See here? It's 16 foot long. It's folded up, 16 feet long, about 80 pounds. I looked online to buy the, a new one is $484 at Lowe's, for example. So between four or $500 is what the thing costs to buy new. I won't try to keep it mine, but as long as I can. I don't think it'd be a problem with theft out here, but you never know. When there's a will, there's a way. So what I've done so far is, and the, whole, and the hooks, I've done, and I've taken my drill, got a wood bit, and I drilled through the side of the garage, through the garage, through the wall. Now, I purposely did not hit a stud. There's actually a stud sitting right next to it. I purposely did that for a reason. I have a piece of chain, a piece of half inch heavy duty chain and a 5 8 diameter chain holder, a bracket, like an like eye hook that I'm going to put through there. Put a chain through there, through that, that eye bolt, and put a padlock on the outside. Weatherproof padlock, something I could keep the weather off of. I'll put it under the ladder, inside the ladder, to keep it kind of hidden and out of the weather, out of the snow and ice and water. Oil it up as need be, whatever else, but I want to go all the way through into, into the garage and anchor the, the bolt in there. Today I got to do a little bit of welding, a little bit of heating, to bend everything up to make it look right and work right. I'll show you what I'm doing. Let's go in the garage. Okay, so here I am in the garage. Got a few tools out here I'm gonna start playing with. This is the chain I got. It's half inch chain, it's beefy enough. It's only a couple feet long. And I've got a big hook. It's a big eye hook, like this. It's about five eighths diameter. It's got a bolt on the end, okay? What I wanna do is I wanna close this loop up on this hook and weld it so it doesn't come out, so it makes it, it makes it a nice loop on here and this chain's trapped in there. I'll put it through the wall, anchor it inside, take the chain, be able to loop it around the ladder and put a padlock on it. It's not gonna go anywhere until I, until I let it go anywhere. Anyways, I'll show you what I'm doing. First thing I gotta do is I gotta bend that. Now this is pretty stout stuff. You're not gonna bend it with a, piece, a pair of pliers or a, piece of, or a pair of channel locks. So I'm going to use my trusty little oxyacetylene torch kit. We're done with that. Then I'm we'll gonna go to my trusty MIG welder. Weld it up. Also want to weld on the inside of this, this nut, I'm gonna weld a washer somewhere right about in about that area. This way it'll go through the wall. That'll stop from going through the wall. Then this, I'm going to put a two by 10 or two by eight or something on the inside of it on the inside of the wall, so they can't pull this out. And it pulled the whole half the whole half the barn down, or the garage down, to get to the ladder. If they want it that bad, good luck with it. Here we go. Of all the years that I've been a maintenance guy and building and moving and welding and cutting, whatever I've done over the years, one of the things that I've found to be very useful to me, and I, I don't really believe know if I could function without it, is a piece of scrap that I found. No railroad rail. So it is. Piece of, piece of railroad. Somebody cut off, throw it away. I use it quite a bit. It makes for a good anvil. I want to be on something. I want to straighten something. I want to have something as a hard background. Um, concrete chips. Wood doesn't isn't hard enough. It bounces. Good metal anvil. 
comes in pretty handy. We're going to use it again today. Okay, let me get some tools together here and we'll start this process out. Show you what I'm doing. Here we go. Put another gloves on. It's probably going to get pretty warm. So I want to keep my hands protected from the heat. Now this is just a regular simple oxyacetylene cutting torch. I have different tips for it. This will work for what I'm using. All I'm just doing is heating it up a little bit to uh, be able to bend it. All I'm doing is heating this for the heat up. A little heat to it. That's all I need. Okay. I want to make this just a, a continuous loop. So I put some heat on here so I can bend this thing easily. Once I get it good and red, good hot, I'll be able to bend that steel a whole lot easier and try to do it cold. Once it's getting red, that's what I want. My chain through here. Okay. Set this down for now. Take my trusty hammer. Right against my anvil, pound it down. There you go. Nice loop. See, it's still red, still red hot. That'll cool. But in the meantime, we're done with this. So what I'll do now is sit, leave it sit right there and cool down. I want to burn those up. Let that cool down for a few minutes. I'll put my cutting torch away. And then I'll uh, move on to the welder. I always try to purge my lines out. You don't really have to, but I just like to do it. I like to know it's empty. If something happens where this line or Hose gets caught in something, near something, heat, spark, whatever. I don't want it to be uh, blowing the whole up. Here we go again. I got my welding beanie on, as you can tell. Got my welder set up over here. This is a uh, Millermatic MIG welder. It's all wired with gas. I got a welding hood I'm going to try on too. I got it all set up here, what I, what I want to do. Okay, you can see what I'm going to do. I got my little clamp here, my magnet, holding it down in place. This is my ground strap. I'm going to weld this washer in place just to kind of hold it from moving. That's going to be like my backstop against the, against the building. And I want to weld this seam right here. Just put some weld on there so that it doesn't open up. But it's a continuous loop. You can't pry it open. You have to actually cut it to get it open. So here we go, we'll start some welding. Anyways, here I want to show you this project I finished up. I meant to do it the other day, um, but my, uh, everything died. My phone was out of storage, the camera batteries were dead and everything else. Oh. I kind of couldn't show you what I had to the finished project, so I'm going to come out today and show you what actually what I did. I'll show you the ladder and where I'm at. This is the ladder. 32 foot extension ladder. And this is, up, is the thing I made. See inside here? This is that part I bent. I'll zoom in here so you can see it. See this piece of pipe here I bent, I welded that seam in there, I put this on here, I bolted this through the wall. So now this is all the way to the wall and everything's anchored on here so if they went this ladder they gotta take this whole wall with them. I put a coat of paint on this to keep this from rusting because it's gonna be in the weather. It's gonna see weather all the time getting windy out now so I don't know how you're going to hear me or not but anyways that's the project I made I got it on there got it finished up apologize for the uh, 
like a memory in my phone, but everything died on it and had to get out, get everything update, uploaded and outloaded and updated. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like the video, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you next time. Bye. Take the cap off. <laughs> no, I'm trying to get the camera figured out. I can't push the wrong button.